Published 1644 EDT, 1 October 2017 Updated 1853 EDT, 1 October 2017 Banks are gearing up for complex negotiations across the European Union over the uncertain future of about £20 trillion of crucial finance contracts. Valuable derivatives traded between EU and UK banks will have no legal basis after Britain leaves the bloc, unless a deal can be reached. The financial trades are widely used by thousands of businesses and banks to guard against sudden economic changes, so disruption would create chaos on the continent as well as in the UK. Banks are gearing up for complex negotiations across the European Union over the uncertain future of about pounds 20 trillion of crucial finance contracts Bank of England Governor Mark Carney warned last week that tens of thousands of existing contracts were threatened and that all EU countries needed to find a solution to allow cross-border derivative trading to continue as normal. He said that can't be solved by the action of the institutions, it can't be solved by actions by the bank or even the UK government. It has to be solved ultimately by actions by the EU27 and the UK. The bank is in talks with International Swaps and Derivatives Association, which represents dealers, to try to fix the problem. Last night Brexiteers argued it was yet more evidence of how much the continent stood to lose if no deal between the EU and the UK was agreed. Bank of England Governor Mark Carney warned last week that tens of thousands of existing contracts were threatened and that all EU countries needed to find a solution to allow cross-border derivative trading to continue as normal Your septic Tory MP John Redwood said it's massively in their interests to have smooth arrangements for the day after we've left out I just hope they respond positively to the Prime Minister's very generous approach, otherwise we will just be leaving without a deal in place. The issue can be resolved by London-based lenders setting up a European operation and shifting their contracts into it, but this is fiendishly complicated, expensive and could take far longer than the 18 months left until Brexit. The bank's financial policy committee said a comprehensive solution is likely to require the development and passage of legislation in both jurisdictions in order to protect the long-term validity of existing contracts. The bank also highlighted the potential risk from Brexit to contracts between UK insurers and EU firms. It said that without a deal, firms insured by companies based in London might suddenly be unable to pay their premiums or make a claim. Fears were also raised about data protection rules, as Brussels allows non-EU nations to store information about its citizens only if it judges their rules to be adequate. The Bank of England said that banks tended to keep records of European clients in London, creating problems if bureaucrats do not give Britain the green light. Derivatives are contracts that specify the conditions under which payments are made between two parties. While they can be used for several reasons, they are most commonly employed by traders to hedge their bets when buying or selling assets. For instance, say a farmer wishes to sell 100 cows in 12 months' time, but he is worried that by that time the market value of cows will have decreased dramatically due to, say, an outbreak of mad cow disease. To ensure himself against any loss, he can enter into a derivative contract with a buyer, which requires them to pay today's market value for the cows on a future, predetermined date, regardless of the value of cows at that time. While it safeguards the seller from losing profit, it could also mean that they are limiting their earning potential should the market value of cows go up in the space of a year.